too young? How young? 18. That's about that. Nice. Year. So, you've never been drunk before? Nope. Oh, but I have a fake ID. Really? What do you think? She's got to take a pill. Buffy. Margarita. <laughs> Mariana. Madonna. Papadopoulos. Yeah. 38. I'm pretty sure that'll get the end, right? I'm sure it will. I guess it's better than McLovin. <laughs> you know what? Don't worry about it. Tonight at Ethan Taylor's, it's an all-ages night. And next Thursday, there's a comedy night hosted by the Student Association. Who's that? The Student Association? They provide advocacy, services, and support to all students on campus. They also organize pub nights, concert nights, and comedy nights throughout the year. It's a great way to meet new people. Cool, let's get going. Uh, maybe I'll hold on to Buffy for now. <laughs> hey man, what's up? Hey, hey, thanks. But I just ate. Do not accept it, would be a dishonor to my family. <laughs> well, for you. <laughs> I can't believe you just ate that. I found it under my bed. <laughs> Good one. It's Steve. I'm Morty. That's great. I'm an atheist. No, my name is Holy. But you call me Cole. <laughs> How about I just call you Lee? You aren't from around here, are you? No, I'm from Hong Kong. Oh, hey, I got a lot of cool stuff made in Hong Kong. My pillowcase, my pants. <laughs> Even Lee's shoes are made in Hong Kong. <laughs> oh, yeah! I made those myself. <laughs> Oh, I just joked with you. Oh. Uh, so you're Canadian, eh? Actually, we're known for more than just A. We also have hockey and beer. Oh, 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 and Justin Bieber. <laughs> no, no. No? Well, technically yes, but no. So yes. No. No. So what program are you taking? I'm in engineering. What are you here for? I guess you could just say, I'm here to pop. I'm sorry, did you say panty? <laughs> no! Well, sort of. <laughs> Things go according to plan. Do you like to party, Holy? Sounds good, but we probably won't have time for that once classes stop. You've got bizarre priorities, Mr. Miyagi. Walk song. Walk. <laughs> Watch out! Whoa! Where'd you learn that? My daddy, Jet Li. <laughs> really? Oh, I just joked with you again. <laughs> you want to show your moves to the hot girls down the hall? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Water, please? Thanks. Two condoms, please. Actually, you better make that three. Do you have anything <laughs> ribbed for her pleasure? Well, that takes care of our first half an hour. What do you have for an encore? Why don't you come back to my room and find out? Why don't you keep playing, stud? Why don't you tell me your name so I'll know who to pray to? No, no. Emphasis on the no. And you are? Carrying a warhead in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, do any of these lines of yours actually ever work? Uh, apparently not. Well, if at first you don't succeed. I see you've played this game before. <laughs> Honey, I invented this game. Oh. So, how about we go out for coffee sometime? I think I'll make you try a little bit harder than that. Shut Challenge accepted! Oh, yeah. <laughs> well then, I guess I'll see you around. See you later, lover boy. <laughs> Wake up in the morning feeling kind of nervous. You must have a classic introduction. Find my name is Curtis. Before I leave, grab my shoes next time and down to the lab.
She just scratched her nose. Maybe there's something on my nose. He just scratched his nose right after I scratched mine. Maybe I have a booger. Ah! Ah! Change the subject! So, what is that in? Your eyes. Commerce, what about you? Your boobs! Come, you decide. Do you want to dance? Boom! Headshot! Sure! <laughs> on the no. Look down, look up, look back at me. Are you ready to swan dive into the best night of your life? Right now I'm hovering around maybe. I never did get your name. Steve, emphasis on the let's get it. Oh my gosh, uh, do you want to go sit down? Toronto! Have you ever been on the CN Tower? Instead of getting your number, how about I just come back here, Friday, eh? Sure. Oh, hey, Damon, you're in sociology with me. Oh yeah, Nona, how's it going? Ah, uh, good. Um, have you started that paper we got due Friday? I was just gonna go hand it in. Why? I don't know. I'm just, I'm having a really hard time getting it started. I've been really busy with practices for dance team lately. Campus recreation has given me so many shifts, and I've got a psychology midterm to study for. Damn, you have a lot, don't you? Yeah, not to mention two other essays. And you still haven't started the paper? This paper was a bitch. Damon, do you mind sending me what you've got so far? Just so I know I'm on the right track? Um, I don't know, Nona. This isn't like high school. Universities are a lot more strict about academic integrity. Besides, this paper is worth so much more of our final grade. Yeah, I know. I don't want to copy. I just want to make sure I've got the right format. The prop seems really intense. Um, okay. I'll bring it to class tomorrow. Sweet. Thank you so much, Damon. I've got to run. Yeah, no problem. Working on a two-day-old climate. It's a drill. There, there. Come on, walk up. 
But I'm still working on the test case. Yes, I'm brushing my teeth. My room? It's as clean as it was when I got here. I mean, I'm fine. I'm just fine here. How are you? Guess what? I got an A class on my first calculus test. Yeah, there was this one about the cute, but it's all under formation. Such a junior on the cover. You like room? Oh, well, I guess this is okay, but I miss you. Celebrities give us their answers to their favorite sexually transmitted infections. Our first contestant joins us between albums, Nicki Minaj! Thank you. Thank you very much, Nicki. Our second contestant is... Good evening, Oshawa. I'm Ron Burgundy, and I'll be your host for tonight's game show. What? No! This is my show! Channel 4 News! This time, time, any award you name her. Ron Burgundy! It's Channel 4 News at 6 o'clock! <laughs> and our third contestant is. Not at his podium. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Mr. Burgundy, you won the drinking contest backstage, so you get to pick first category. Thank you, Alex. Let's move on to tonight's breaking story. Causes for 200. Causes for 200. And the answer is, this is the most pop bleeding cause of STIs. Uh, Mr. Burgundy? I believe that all STIs originated from a whale's vagina? Mamma mia! And by whale, I mean uh, your mother, Trebek! <laughs> no! Uh, Nikki? Haters! <laughs> no! The correct answer is unprotected sex. Unprotected sex is the leading cause of STIs. What? Mr. Burton, <laughs> it's unfortunately still your board. But because I hate you, Mario, please pick a category. Should I pick Kaya? I already have, and it's you, Mario. It's me, Mario! Herpes! Thank you. Herpes for 600. And the answer is the most effective way of protecting yourself and your partner through risk of infection, through oral sex. Uh, Mr. Burgundy? Damn! Yeah. Excuse me? You smelly pirate cooker! A dental dam! A condom! Oh, yes. A dental dam and or condom protects against herpes. Wow, Mr. Burgundy, that's two answers correct. Twice in one night. Speaking of twice in one night, there was this one time Miss Coningstone and I were in a bed in and <laughs> Shut up! Nikki, please, pick a category. You a stupid hoe! <laughs> you a stupid hoe! It's not a category! <laughs> I'm going to pretend you said bacteria. And the question is, the, this ever popular bacteria can be contracted through sex with an infected partner, shows little or no warning signs, can cause sterility, and is on the rise everywhere. Uh, Nikki? What is the hiv? Excuse me, did you just say the hiv? Yes, I did. Did I stutter? Does he know who the F I is? <laughs> Dear God, it's HIV! And no. The correct response is, what is chlamydia? Ooh. You know what? I'm tired of this. Let's just move on to Final Jeopardy. Cue the music. Just write down anything, anything at all, that has to do with sex, or STIs, anything at all, and you win. It could be the first time a girl decided to kiss you. <laughs> the first time you just needed to buy cocaine and had no money. Uncle just wanted a little. 
Train wreck begin. Mario, we'll start with you. Here we go. <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. And you wagered? Woo! <laughs> How many mushroom? Simply stunning. Mr. Burgundy? Ganor. Excuse me? Ganor. Ah, uh, you must mean gonorrhea. We'll accept that. How much did you wager? Gonorrhea, your mother tonight, Trebek! Oh. Nikki, please. What does that even mean? Are you kidding me? Have you seen this thing? I practically am sex. You stupid dick. <laughs> Did you just say dick? I'll have to go to judges for that. And the uh, judges agree. Penis is a technical term, but they'll take a dick any day. <laughs> for more information, contact health services. I'm Alex Trebek. I quit. Now back to regularly scheduled two. You stay classy, Ashla. <laughs>
that would explain the excessive amounts of Lady Gaga that he plays. Oh, oh, I know her. Is she the bitch from the one video with the really big eyes? No, a lot of friends back home are jealous of her. <laughs> you seriously didn't know. Okay, now you give you a very easy way to tell. I'll see what you change. I don't think so. Well, I don't go near the shower so he's in there. Oh, don't flatter yourself, Holy. But it's true, I know his ex-boyfriend. It shouldn't be that much of a surprise, though. There are lots of queer people on campus. Haven't you ever heard of LGBTQ? Lovely girls, but they're queer? <laughs> no. The Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Queer Questioning Center. They have an office in the Student Services Building. Hey guys, what's up? I don't know why everyone cares so much. What? Nick is... <clears throat> Gay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yesterday's news. Did you? Doesn't everyone? It's no big deal. Damn, what a waste. I'd still have that. Oh, of course you would. I don't care, as long as I don't have to watch him, you know. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This isn't a joke. It's more than sex. You're talking about it like it's a choice. It's who he is. It is wall. Grow up. That is such an ignorant point of view. Guys, we shouldn't be gossiping about, about him like this anyway. If he found out, he would be really hurt. I can't believe you guys. If you're gonna act like this, I don't wanna be around you. Wait, wait, wait. What, what did I do? Did I say something to him? It wasn't what you said, Curtis. It's the fact that you all laughed at Steve's stupid joke. Back home, there are a lot of intolerant people. Here, we just expected things to be different. <laughs> Nick won't try anything on you, Curtis. Whatever. Just sleep with your butt against a wall. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I'm straight. <laughs> so, do they have a boyfriend? Yeah, his name's Damon. I've been seeing him for over a year now. I'm sure you'll beat him. So, how'd you find out? Uh, Stephen Holy told me. You know, Holy's not too cool about it. Yeah, Holy, our floor's token refugee. I'm surprised he even speaks English. Yeah, he does. I'm not surprised he's homophobic. His, his race is a little behind the times, if you know what I mean. That's not fair. I'm just saying it like it is, man. So, so, what do we do now? Want to get butt naked and wrestle? No, stop. Oh, you stop. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Something not to worry about. I must have given a terrible interview. I'm probably the only one without a job. Heather, you're being too hard on yourself. I know so many people who are in the same board. You just need to keep your resume updated and keep going to the student's career center. And don't take it personally. Really? Really. And you should do something fun to take your mind off of it. So, what do you like to do for fun? Well, I love to do yoga. Yoga? Hmm. Show me more. Okay. This one's called Dancer's Pose. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> mm. You know, I know one too. This one is called Curtis's Pose. Hmm. Here we go. Nice try. Uh, but maybe you should come to yoga with me sometime? I'd love to come to you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could do something this week. I know. Uh, how about the South Village Residence Dining Hall? It's all you can eat. All you can eat? Um, I, I haven't had much of an appetite lately. Oh, I know. We could just stay here and watch an Indian dress. Okay. Uh, Friday at 8? Meet me at the front desk. Be there. Or I'll just keep waiting until you show up. <laughs> But come on, Damon, I've missed you. I miss you too, Nick, but I've got to get this weekend at Shakes, and I really want to say I'm good. You've been in your room practicing all week. This isn't healthy. Um, practicing for a paying gig isn't healthy. You know that's not what I meant, Damon. I know, but I sound like crap, and I really want to say I'm good. Damon, you're an amazing musician. Now come on, me and the guys want to go out tonight, we really want you to come with us. I don't know. It's Karaoke night at E.P. Taylor's. Wait, really? That sounds like fun. Exactly, so grab your shit and let's go. I don't know. I should probably practice for just a couple more hours. You can practice in my room while I get ready. Oh, it's gonna take a lot more than that to convince me. Anyway, 
it's none of your business, Heather. Ooh, what's this thing? Beam me up, Scotty. Touch that. It's the blue call light. But I need help. Well, it's for emergencies only. If you press it now, campus security is only gonna get pissed off at us. Sorry. I think I'm gonna be sick. Okay? It took us forever to 
to get her here. Oh, uh, Beth, you, you dropped something. Those are just vitamins, Holy. That E. Papadopoulos. Ecstasy? Oh, come on, Beth. If you get caught with it, you are going to get in a lot of trouble. Come on, what's a pill or two between friends, right? Right? Hi, handsome! Beth, you're drunk. No, oh, I'm not. I'm totally sober. I've only had a couple. How many is a couple, Beth? Two. Now let us in. I don't know what you're on, but I can't let you to the club tonight. Sometimes you are. <laughs> Beth, how was this fudge bag? At least someone here knows how to party. Well, Steve, what the hell? What? What's the big deal? Oh. What's... what's up? You just saw me kick Beth out. Beth was on E and Trims and shit. This is just a little weed. Just a little weed, still illegal. Shit, smoking a cigarette's worse for you than smoking a joint. No, it's not. Smoking a joint is equivalent to smoking four cigarettes. It causes depression, memory loss, and no matter what anyone tells you, you can still get addicted to it. Alright. Fine. So can I finish this one? No, Steve. Give me one hell of a night. Oh, come on, I only check the dice. I just don't enjoy watching my girlfriend dance like a whore! Oh, the mouth is not like that. Not as one classic girl. I just don't like all the guys in this place thinking she's another drunk slut ready to go. No, no, I'm going and you're coming with me. See what I'm dancing. Come dance with me. Not when you're dancing like a skank. What's wrong with my dancing? What's wrong? You look like you're trying to set out some kind of mating call for a cheap crew or something. And your tits are practically falling out of that shirt. I am sick of you drawing attention to yourself like a bimbo. Forget it. I'm not going anywhere with you. If that's what you think, you can leave. I'm staying. I said we're going. Be a fucking asshole. What is the problem? Bitch, you prick <laughs> It's just that we're friends. 
Oh yeah, really good friends. <laughs> See ya. See ya, Patrick. Curtis! Curtis, watch out, you called your badge! Yeah, no, that's a lot. <laughs> Study in the car if it's that important to you. No, Steve, I'm not gonna study in the car. Fine, fine. I'll just call my mom and we'll come up next weekend. Steve, no. I'm not a pet and I'm not going anywhere with you ever again. What the hell are you talking about? How about the way that you've been treating me? You called me a bitch and a slut and you make me feel like shit. I told you I was sorry about the other night. I was depressed and high and Oh, and, shit. and so he decided to take it out on me. You know it wasn't like that, no, no. Steve, it doesn't stop there. I don't even get to see my friends anymore. Sure you do. You see your friends all the time. And you are always there. Always. I just, I need to be alone. Alone? Yes, alone. I'm ending this. No, no. I... Steve, my life isn't my own anymore. I just, I need space. Okay? <gasps> It's because I won't have sex with you, isn't it? No! It's because you're jealous and you're controlling and you hurt me. You insulted me in front of my friends. You're not the guy that I fell in love with. I already told you I'm sorry! <laughs> I promise it'll never happen again. Sick of your promises, Steve. You text me all the time, you call me like 10,000 times a day, and it's never about anything important. I love you! Is it important? Look! If it's too much, I can tone it down a bit. No, no. Come on, no, no. You know you're leaving it. No, Steve. I don't need you. It's over. Even when Dad had McAllister's. It's not far. 
you know, there are counselors for other things too, like disordered eating. What is that supposed to mean? I think you know. Everyone knows. Atkins, the skinny bitch diet. I don't ever remember you not being on a diet. So I want to lose a few pounds. It's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is, Heather. You never come out to dinner with us anymore. You almost fainted that one time going to yoga. We're worried about you. There's no reason for you to be on those diets. You're beautiful the way you are. And I don't want to do this alone. We can go together. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay, four, five, six, seven. Come on, just give me an eight. Ha! I'd like that, Princess of Poker 69. Oh, oh no, no, shit. Curtis, where you been all day? Hold on, holy. I really screwed myself over here. I went big and lost three hundred dollars on this poker game, and that's not including four hundred I already borrowed from my mom. Can't keep wasting money like that. Gambling non-stop, you can't help, you know. Yeah, yeah, holy. I don't really need this right now. Yeah, we don't need seven hundred dollars. Hey, Curtis, have you seen my? Holy Nick, where's Curtis? What do you care? Don't you already have a boyfriend? He's my roommate, all right? I thought you wish you was bedmate. Your race is really simple, isn't it? Because you don't fuck anything like dogs. Ha! Dogs! I thought that was your favorite meal! Whoa! you! Fuck me, Rice Boy! I don't think so! I don't like yellow blood! Now, things are different now. If you just give me a chance. Look, 
If you let me take you out to dinner, I know that we would work all this out. Just call me, okay? Linda, why will you return my calls? I know that you're there. Pick up the fucking phone. I saw you at Shag the other night dancing with those other guys. You know they think you're just another easy slut. They can't love you like I can. Nobody can. I have to talk to you. This time, I'm fucking serious, so you better call me. If I'm not with you, I don't want to live anymore. I have no idea how this feels. I swear to God, I'll do it. So please, please call me. If you don't, I don't know what I'll do. Aww. Light up my world like nobody else that way that you click the camera. Sorry, 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 I'll run back to the bar and bring some ice. No, no, it's okay. I think we've both spent enough time at Shag's. <clears throat> Me too. Isn't the sky so beautiful? Yeah. Should we stay a little longer? Sure. I'm so glad I met you, Curtis. Why? Because <laughs> you're always making me laugh. Look, a shooting star. Close your eyes and make a wish. <laughs> Did you get what you wished for? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, another shooting star. <laughs> Close your eyes, make a wish. You're just using Kelly. See? I'm sorry. Hey, Curtis, stop! Come on, Kelly. I'm, I'm just not ready for all this. There's nothing wrong with what we are doing. I'm just, I'm not comfortable anymore. Maybe we should go, like... Should you just dance? Read now? No, don't! Heather, I certainly like me. I do, Curtis. Heather, you like each other, it's okay. No, Curtis! Stop! <laughs> stop! Sure. What's up with you? It's Steve. I'm really worried about him. You broke up with him. That's not what this is about. It's been a real mess lately. Yeah, I know. He called a couple times and he threatened to take his life. Wait, he actually said that? He's really depressed. I I really think that he needs help and I just I need to know that somebody's gonna be there for him. I can't do anything because I will talk with him. Thanks, Holy. Get better. Just watch the name of balls. <laughs> oh my god, I have nothing to wear! What are you talking about, Nona? You have tons of clothes. Yeah, but all my clothes suck. Heather, don't all my clothes suck? Yeah, Nona, they're horrible. Thanks. So, what are you wearing tonight? This Curtis meeting is there. I'm not going out tonight. I don't feel well. So, buddy, how was the weekend? You're looking at a new man, Nick. So I trust Friday night's date went well? Yeah, my big just understatement of the terror. Did you and Curtis have a fight or something? Yeah, after Friday night's date. Stargazing, how romantic. I knew you guys would be perfect for each other. I'm sure you'll kiss and make up. Come on, let's go. Leave me alone. So, you gonna tell me all about it? Or should I just ask the neighbors? Oh, come on, Nick, that's personal. I don't ask you to kiss and tell. You want me to? Not really. <laughs> so, did you get some? Okay, Heather, what's the deal? Yeah, did you guys break up already? No, it's not that. Well, then what? We're your best friends, you can tell us anything. Why don't you just start from the beginning? Okay, well, Friday we had our date, right? We went to the park, laid under the stars, and we had been drinking. I don't know, maybe that was why, but we started kissing and... <clears throat> You know, stuff happened. He got rough with me, and he pushed me down. I, I told him I wanted to leave. Curtis? He pushed me down and made me have sex with him. Well, uh, we went stargazing in the park. Nice. We talked a bit, then we started kissing, and then it happened. And you didn't want it to? Did you tell him that? I said no, and I, I told him it was too soon. <sighs> That's no right. We sort of kissed each other a bit at first. She played hard to get, you know how it is. 
she did want to do it, didn't she? Hey, I think I know when someone wants it. Hey, buddy, I didn't mean anything by it. No, I think you did mean something by it. I told him to stop. I told him I wasn't really ready. Are you sure you didn't lead him on? I mean, you know how you get once you've been drinking. Yeah, I thought you really liked him. What happened? Listen, man, what the hell are you accusing me of? Listen, I'm not accusing you of anything, but just because you guys fooled around a little bit doesn't necessarily mean that she wanted it. Oh, come on, Nick. It's not like we are strangers. I know she wanted it. If you didn't want him to do it, then why did you stay? You were probably just too wasted to know what was going on. Yeah. Look, I wouldn't make a big deal of it. You've got to live with him in Reds for the rest of the year. It's not like I raped her. It's not like he raped you. It's not... It's not like I raped you. <laughs> yes, you did. You raped me. Look, Heather, you need to talk to somebody about this, and you need to get medical attention. 
There are people at security and the campus health center that uh, specialize in sexual assault. And they won't make you do anything you don't want to do. You have your RA to talk to, and there's always the women's center. We'll go with you to the police if you want. Okay. Oh. I can't stand to see that. You fucking gay bastard chick! Go the fuck back home to your own dirty little country! Nick, what the hell? What? Do you know how homophobic he is? Do you know how racist you are? It's all hate. There's no difference.
Hey, I touch the bar and can't be You all.